Hey guys, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how I made $1,000 on this Buffalo nickel. But first, I wanted to show you guys an incredible CAC submission that we just got back. We submitted some coins for Isaiah. We submitted coins for, for Brian. We submitted coins for Tyler. Um, just a really incredible submission if you want to get closer. Um, a lot of great stuff for every variety here. Old holders, old type. Uh, a little bit from our collection, gold cacks. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys everything, and it's going to be super incredible. Let me show you guys a coin real quick that we bought recently. So I bought this uh, $3 gold piece about a week ago, and I now just wanted to show you guys. So this is the 1873 $3 uh, gold Indian princess. It's, uh, there's only 3,500 that were minted, and it's just a really incredible piece. The luster on the coin, the color on the coin. It's in an old green holder as well, uh, but this is the most we've ever spent on a coin. And so towards the end of this video, like I said, we'll be talking about that Buffalo nickel, how we made so much on it as a coin dealer. But first, let's talk about each of these groups and how beneficial they are to be cacked and what are some cool things you guys should look out for in the future when you're sending some stuff into CAC. So there's something that I wanted to talk a little bit more about with CAC before we show you guys all these coins. So if you haven't seen our previous video, the link will be down in the description below. We covered all the news about CAC and its coin grading coming in 2023. But the fact is that CAC stickers are the cheapest they're ever gonna be. CAC grading's the cheapest it's ever gonna be. And so you seeing these coins here today, this is the cheapest CAC sticker slash crossover CAC coin that you're gonna be able to witness. And so what we've been trying to do is offer great CAC coins right now because I feel in the future, if you're going to cross a coin over to CAC, it would cost you $50. And when they open regular tier again, it could be $20, $25, $30 for a sticker before shipping. So recognize that when you guys check out CAC coins because I think this is just the bottom of where they can go in terms of premiums. So as we spoke about in the beginning of the video, we wanted to showcase a few collectors. What do they submit to CAC? What are some wins that they had at CAC as well? Some things that you guys would love to see. We sent one coin in for Tyler that was a reconsideration. And what a reconsideration is, is that this coin already has a sticker um, and we wanted to see if it would gold sticker. And so the coin we want to display to you guys today is this 1881 proof seated dime. It's an OGH holder. It has a really nice cameo look to it. It had a green sticker for a while. I think it sold on Heritage for like 515 bucks. And John thought it was good enough to upgrade to a gold sticker. And this was our first ever reconsideration we've ever done. And it was a success. So we're so happy for Tyler and what he did um, for this coin. I would value that this coin probably at about $1,200 today based on the sticker. So um, like I said, extremely happy for him. Let's show you guys a few of Tyler's coins because the coins that he get in, ended up getting stickers on really did matter, really added a lot of premium to these coins and you'll want to see them. We want to take a fast break in this video to thank all the people that have visited our website. If you want to get a closer angle here, I mean, just take a look at all this stuff in the past few days. I mean, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Alfie. Uh, just a whole bunch of people that have been investing in us. If you guys want to buy some coins like they did, cat coins, original coins, coins that you would love in your collection, AkushaCollectibles.com. So here are kind of the big coins from Tyler's submission. We talked a little bit about this 1881, but just Take one more look at it. Really beautiful cameo look to the coin. Very happy about that one. Um, here's a cool thing. Not really too cool at all, but it's a, a obverse and reverse lamination error. It's right down by six o'clock, kind of like five o'clock there. I guess they don't cack these. It's almost like damage that they probably see it as. So they don't even check this one for a cack sticker. Something that you guys should know. Um, but like I said, there's some big coins here that cacked and that mean a lot. They're on the top row. Let's cover the bottom row here first. Nice buffalo nickel here. Strong strike, nice luster. Um, got the CAC sticker, it is in an older holder as well. So very cool, just nice bread and butter pieces for someone that's adding them to their set. This 42 over one, not a lot of them in CAC either. In AU also, just, I mean, a very nice coin. I'm glad that Tyler got this one CAC'd. It's gonna fit in his set very well. And these are the kind of coins you want as a coin dealer or a coin collector. Just nice coins for the grade. Decently toned proof here. This is an 1884 Indian head scent, graded proof 66 brown. Nice blue and purple to the coin. 
did receive a CAC sticker and I mean the coin overall is almost flawless another really beautiful coin the top ones like I said are what the ones that I kind of focused on that I would have loved to buy but it's okay it's the way it goes really kind of interesting color on this coin did CAC approve just the character on it makes it a little bit more interesting than those white piece dollars that you might see and so another one that you don't see often that is CAC Simpson collection I think a lot of these have been sent to CAC and a lot of them didn't sticker maybe they're just not great for the grade but this one ended up stickering nice blast white coin I thought this one had a great shot before CAC and it ended up panning out very well just a really beautiful piece and then another tough coin to find in CAC just barbers in general a lot of them were beat up or they were cleaned or they were wiped and they still were passed through the graders this one is, is probably the most original you can find it, 64 plus, nice 12S here, blast white as well almost, just a little haze on the back there, but really stunning pieces. I'm very happy for Tyler. The next collector we want to showcase is Isaiah. Isaiah is from Arkansas, great coin dealer, needed our help in sending us some stuff into CAC. A lot of people haven't been able to get in as recently, they've shut down people from uh, applying, but we sent in a lot of coins for him. A lot of them didn't sticker, but some did. The coolest part about this submission for us and what we saw when we got him back was that there's a collector that probably got an original roll of Whisker Jaw Peace Dollars. And what they did was they sent them back um, in, the, in the 80s to NGC and they all got graded with consecutive cert numbers. And I have six of them from Isaiah and we've sent in three so far. And what's pretty crazy about this is that if you wanted to take a look here this is two 1923 piece dollars grade ms64 both gold cac and they are actually um, they're actually both whisker jaws and so the cool thing about these coins is that it's so rare to get these all in consecutive certs it's rare to get them in high grade and on top of that they're also gold cac approved and so like i said finding coins like this is extremely hard and it adds a big premium onto these. And I can't wait to see what Isaiah has next for the next three. Maybe those will gold sticker as well. But let's show you guys some rattlers that he found. Let's show you guys some other coins also because like I said, he did pretty well on his CAC submission. So here's the, a lot of Isaiah's nicer coins that I wanted to share with you guys today. Talk about the gold CACs there last, but let's start off on the bottom row. Some nice kind of early type coins. This is 1861. 3 cent silver grade AU55, has some almost army green color to the coin. It did CAC approve. Another thing that's just not going to find a lot of these CAC approved because I think 3 cent silvers are just like barbers. They were beat up, they were also cleaned, and they were passed through the graders. And uh, that one just is a very original. It's a little dark for me, but that's okay. Here's a nice white piece dollar. It's a nice 1926S, CAC approved as well. Um, I try to buy coins like this because they are white. A lot of them have spots on them, which drives a lot of piece collectors away. And so Isaiah did well on that one. Ended up picking that one up from him, which is pretty nice. Uh, nice cameo looking 1942 Walker. Created Proof 65. Did receive the bean. Uh, mine didn't in Proof 67, which is okay. Glad for him. Uh, a few other coins here. Buffalo Nickel. Uh, common date but with the sticker it's pretty nice as well it did sticker for him uh, you know no kind of spots jumping out at me nice just overall bread and butter coin and a seated dime so this seated dime is overall really white a little bit of wear on the breast there but as you flip the coin over it still is pretty white as well so this coin's pretty pq it did sticker and I think it's a great collector piece. So I'm gonna focus on the bottom row, not as much as the gold cacks up top, but a lot of these coins, when you send them in, you wanna aim for gold stickers. These ones just green stickered, which is okay, but the main win is gonna be on those gold stickers when you send a bunch in. Just make sure that they're right for the grade. Isaiah sent in a lot of them, and I was really surprised that they gold stickered. So let's show you guys those real quick. This is the first whisker jaw. Just, I mean, an immaculate coin. I would say this one's probably a five or a little bit better. I really like the luster of the coin. No distracting spots other than a few of them, which you'll normally run into on peace dollars. And I really wanted to buy this pair, but it's not the time, so that's okay. Got a normal peace dollar here. That's a gold cac as well. 
Um, just really strong. Another one I think would be 65 CAC today. And this is the last whisker jaw, which unfortunately didn't sticker. Maybe it's just that there's just a lot of haze on the coin. Something that jumped out at John that didn't make him too happy. But I would definitely keep that set together. And very happy he got all those gold CAC stickers. Isaiah also submitted some really nice Rattler coins from his collection. Um, he submitted a whole bunch of Morgans. I know that you guys just saw some early type and some peace dollars with some gold CAC stickers, but these rattlers are pretty cool also. I think he's trying to fill out a date set, and a lot of these coins did sticker. I think five of them didn't, but I think about 10 or 11 did. And so the ones that we really like a lot from, from us, um, this is an 1881cc Morgan dollar. It's graded MS63 by PCGS. It's in a rattler, has some color on the reverse as well that we'd be happy to show you guys. Um, you know, anytime you get a CC that's a little bit of a better date in a Rattler with a sticker, you can ask a dramatic premium. I think a lot of these, even in 63 grade, are selling for over $1,000. So Isaiah did great on that one. And you can't beat a gold sticker Buffalo. This is a 1937D uh, Buffalo nickel with the gold CAC sticker. Has some blue and purple toning on both sides. I think it's a really nice coin. And so Isaiah ended up getting four gold CAC stickers out of this whole submission. But let's show you guys the rest of these rattlers. So here is the rattlers that Isaiah sent in. Like I said before, he was trying to assemble a date set from the, what it looks like. 79S, 80S, 81S, 840s, 850s. All these are more common, but they did receive the bean. And like I said, it's going to be the cheapest it'll ever be to sticker coins. And so that's why he sent these in with us. We have 81CC, like I said, one of my favorites. Uh, definitely a PQ coin, color on the back, beautiful. Um, got some more color on this buffalo with a gold cack sticker. Definitely do love this piece a lot. Let me know what you guys think of this coin down below. A little bit of a weaker strike. Actually surprised that it's CAC'd. Um, nice proof-like Morgan here. Did sticker as well. Very flashy piece. Try to buy these when I can also, but they're very tough to find right now. A lot of people wanted to get into the PLs and dimples and rattlers, and they're willing to pay a really big premium. Here's an 88, almost looks like a four. Another date for his set. Isaiah's really making a dent in there. And here's an 82P, another white coin. Just really great pieces. So happy that you got all these stickered. And we are so happy that we're able to share them with you in this video. So the last submission we wanna to talk to you guys about in this video is our submission. We were pretty surprised with all the results, but we wanted to talk about a few kind of key roles and key CAC stickers that we ended up getting before we talk about the rest. The first one we want to talk about is this 1911 uh, Barber Dime. It's graded MS65 by PCGS. It's in a rattler. It's actually from the Denver Mint. I didn't say that before, but I got this coin for I thought was a lot of money at the time. I tried to sell it for and make a hundred bucks, but it didn't end up working out. I thought this coin had a really good shot at uh, CACing, and so I sent it in. And for all you guys that don't know, it's hard to find a Barber Dime in a Rattler to begin with. And then now that it's CEC approved, I can't help but keep this coin. I mean, the CAC sticker on this coin adds several hundred dollars. And so very happy with that. Another coin, which is a big win for my brother. He ended up buying this 1951S Franklin half dollar in Chicago when we went on a trip. Uh, I thought this coin would not even green CAC. I didn't like the luster and the toning on the coin. And then when we got this coin back in, per in hand, I was like, what's that 51S? I don't even remember it. We pulled out it out of the box and it gold stickered. And so hard to get Franklins with gold stickers because a lot of them are just so beat and trampled on. But let's show you guys the rest of our CAC submission. Um, you guys are gonna like it a lot. So let's talk about our submission now. Wanted to show you a few cherry picks from the submission. A lot of the other coins either have been sold already or have been sent off to see what would happen with them. So this is the 1973S Eisenhower dollar, great MS67 by PCGS in a rattler. I mean, I've been trying to put a lot of these with a CAC sticker on. I've probably had about 15 that I knew would fail and a few that, that are stickered. I had a 71D, 72S, and a 73S now. And so it's, it's very hard to find these without PVC or spots. And it's very hard to get CAC stickers on these coins. So definitely gonna add that one to the set. Very happy about it. Trying to assemble a Franklin set that's very inexpensive. This one has some color above the head. It's like a crescent. Probably a coin was laying on this one for a while. 
It was a little beat up, MS-63, but it did sticker. I do like that one a lot. Uh, here's one that we got at the Houston show. Hard to pick up the color here, but it does have a lot of hairlines on it. I sold this one for like 250 or 350 bucks. The guy sent it back to me, said it looked ugly, and I ended up sending it to CAC to see if it was gold, and it did. So it's kind of a weird, funky coin, but I might keep it, and I do like the gold sticker on it. Just don't see a lot of that stuff every day. I uh, bought this Colombian up in Chicago as well. Nice red gold on the obverse and on the reverse. You can kind of see a, like a bluish salmon color to it. It did sticker, natural color, OGH holder. It's got the whole works. I'm selling that one for a premium, but I think it's worth it. It's just a really cool Colombian half dollar. Uh, I ended up buying this one from Tyler, and I wanted to show you guys here. AcousticCollectible.com. 1883, no sense, MS64. No distracting spots, CEC approved, OGH. All the coins you're going to see in this video are just really nice, PQ pieces, and I'm glad I'm able to share them with you. Uh, we shared a little bit of all these coins earlier in the video, but let's do a little recap. Nice 1911D, very nice 51S, and also that $3 gold. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. So it's that time of the video, guys, where I want to talk about this 1913S Type 2 Buffalo Nickel. We bought this coin at the Tyler Coin Show for... $50 over gray sheet, which is $2,200. And for you guys that don't know this date, it's the key date of the series. It didn't have a CAC sticker at the time, and it had some really nice color. The luster was a little bit weak, but I really thought it had a great shot at CAC. And so we waited about five weeks for the CAC submission to come back. It did CAC, and then what we did was we looked at the premiums for these coins with CAC stickers. And what you guys don't really realize if you haven't looked into the higher end coins is that there's gonna be a dramatic price increase if the sticker is applied to these. And so a lot of the non-sticker uh, examples were selling for 24, 2,500 if you were lucky, uh, but CAC sticker coins would go anywhere between 2,800 to 3,000. And the ones that I saw with stickers didn't have any color like ours had. And so this one is just a really great example that jumps out at me and to collectors of Buffalo nickels. And so all in, we had about $2,250 into this coin and I'm thinking we can get about $3,250, $3,300 for this coin. So not a bad day at CAC. Showed you guys these great coins here. Made $1,000 on the Buffalo Nickel. Um, what do you guys think of CAC? What do you guys think of what's going on? Did you guys enjoy this video today? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But we will see you guys in the next video.